Welcome back to Mail My Cart. My name is Mickey and today I have a little haul that I got from going on an outing with my son this weekend and I took him to his favorite, I mean we have a membership to this place now, it's a um, air museum which has a lot of planes and stuff in it and I took advantage and I did this um, quick sketch of an engine and it's completely off so I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing but I like the color and it was fun using the Medine Whirl that I had uh, reviewed I'll just put a link in the i card for that um, unboxing but um, yeah so I got these two little knick-knack kind of things and um, I can't really read them and oh it I can there's just some English in here so um, and I got these two really, I couldn't decide between either of these. So I got them both. And my cats are going nuts because they, I got this huge box in the um, post and it only had two blinds and one like clamp mini fan like this big. And the box is bigger than my son. And so they're totally jazzed up right now. So, um... I was I'm so, so glad I looked in this book because the book itself kind of looks, um, you know, very kind of monochromatic and it's not eye catchy like this one is. Um, I first looked at this one and it was sold immediately. By, and it's by da David Webb and this is by Gordon McKenzie. And if you hear anything outside, it's because I have the window wide open. It's a beautiful day. So this one is the Complete Watercolorist's Essential Notebook. A treasury of watercolor secrets discovered through decades of painting and experimentation. Lots of work by Gordon. So you'll see right away that there's these really great, this is the author, um, really great uh, like beginner uh, studies. And my cats are going nuts. Um, and I really liked this for the, you know, the thoroughness of it. That's not a word, but you know how thorough it is. And look at these trees, how nice. So this guy's really good and I wanted to learn from this guy because he does amazing and he does these little, isn't this great? It's really fun and there's like, gosh, there's, look at this gorgeous stuff. It goes all the way to, well, about 300 pages and it's a really thick book and it was like oh I need that and then I saw that you know this is the one I saw first because it was you know bright and beautiful and um, this also has a very beginner you know tutorial and the um, this is David Webb up front and it does layering and techniques and you know everything you need to know and as a semi-seasoned uh, intermediate artist myself, some of this is just, you know, kind of repeat on things I kind of know, but it's really great to just go in this book and pick up some techniques. And uh, it's a really, I like color and he uses a lot of colors. So our similar te <laughs> techniques are, the cats are going hops, are um, just, neat it's just neat how other artists think and it's nice to learn from people who are just really taking the time to learn the the science of this stuff so yeah if you um want to pick up these two books they're great now for the unboxing of these um crazy things this is a i don't know what uh but it was funny and my son pointed at it and said something about it so I was like oh I'll grab one <laughs> but oh, I wish I could know Sen Senrio it's like Senrio does also um, Hello Kitty and the who's this artist Senrio okay let's do it uh, okay follow instructions so it could be <clears throat> It could be the skewers, it could be egg on rice, it could be kind of a faux bowl ramen, and this is a vegetable crepe on a stand. Oh, or the um, a red eye, okay, oya kodan, 
sorry if I'm butchering it really bad. Roast beef bowl. I hope it's not that. <laughs> I don't like beef. And another beef bowl with a little guy in the laptop. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, I got the skewer one. Awesome. <laughs> so here's the little plate and all the little skewery guys that go on it. <laughs> the guy with the uh, a phone extender thingy. Oh, it's not coming to me right now. So I got this guy. Right <laughs> ah, that's so funny. So this is a uh, yakitori. So I don't. Let's go ahead and assemble it because why not? There's another one of um, this kind of thing being sold and they're all um ah. they're all uh oops oh look at the cute little <laughs> egg faces so cute um so these go like this this one goes up front and this guy is in the back and there's a little bum he's got a little bum And here we go. Isn't that funny? I collect like little weird stuff like this. And I have one of these and I have a little dinosaur and I have a kitty. And I have vodka, just weird stuff <laughs> that I collect. I'm sure you guys do too. So this will be added to my collection and I'll put these somewhere so and then oh this was so sad I had to buy one because look it's a keychain with the cat sushi so it could be Nieta Wasabi Margo Torimi or Shikibu so, yeah, is, is it focusing yeah okay <clears throat> all right going and we're going in what kind of sushi cat are we getting <laughs> oh do we get a hint I think so Yeta. oh oh they're so cute you guys these are so cute look at that I'm gonna go bring it Oh my word, I got, um, it's not even, oh yeah, wasabi, I got wasabi, oh, really well um, painted, isn't that funny, I don't know if I'll use it for keychain, I don't want to damage it, <laughs> so, okay, no. so cute, I'm going to put them right on my little desk, so, oh, we'll put them in here until we're done. All right, guys, well, oh, it's little head swivels. No, it doesn't. It looks like it might. It's just how it assembles. So, okay, well, thanks for joining me for this little haul. And um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you never know what to expect with these boxes, but they're always a lot of fun. So if you see these in a bookstore or whatever, grab one, because they're pretty hilarious and cute and stuff, so. All right, well, take care. We'll see you in the next one.